in this lecture you will learn how to consume external apis to fetch information in your apex applications for this you will integrate the latest currency exchange rates and currency conversions into your apex application by using a free currency api from mdoran site this currency api is available in json format and easily accessible through a simple api request over a secure https connection Follow the steps to accomplish this task. Head over to mdorin.com site. Click the free sign up button. On the developer sign up page, enter your credentials including your email address. Click the sign up button. Your account will be created and you will get a message to check your email for your account details. Open your email client where you will see the email carrying your password. Take a note of this password. You will need it in a while. Log into the developer area by entering your email ID and the password you received in your email. After successfully logging into your account, you will see your API key. Write down this key. In Oracle Apex, go to Shared Components and create a new data source from scratch. On the general screen, select the simple HTTP for REST data source type. Enter currency converter for the data source name. For endpoint URL, enter this URL which is the base URL for the currency API. Click next. Accepting the values on the remote server screen, click next. Turn off the authentication required option and click the advanced button on the authentication page to add some parameters. On the parameters screen, enter values as shown here. The first parameter will carry the API key. In the value box, paste the API key. In Oracle Apex, when you are working with a RESTful web source, the URL query string is a way to include parameters in the URL when making requests to a RESTful service. These parameters can be used to customize the request and retrieve specific data from the RESTful service. In the second parameter, we specify the currency from which the user wants to convert the specified amount. The is static switch is turned off for this parameter which means that the end user will provide a value for this parameter. In the third parameter we specify the currency to which the user wants to convert the specified amount. In the final parameter we will allow user to input an amount. We set 50 as the default amount. Click the discover button. The preview screen will come up displaying a value in the amount column. 
the data profile tab contains columns and type definitions. Click the create rest data source button to complete the process. Now create a static list of values named currencies. The values from this LOE will be used in two select lists on the application page. Create a blank page. Add a region named parameters to this new page. Next, add three items to the parameters region. Add a classic report region to the page and set its attributes as demonstrated here. Expand the parameters sub region under the classic report region. The region contains the three parameters you defined while creating the web source module. At this stage, the parameters exist with the same values you define on the parameters screen. In order to make the module more flexible, you need to replace these static values with the values you select for the three page items at runtime. Click the amount parameter. Set its type to item. An item to the item name to map this parameter to the value of the amount text field item. Similarly, change the type and item attributes of from and to parameters. Add a button to the page and set the attributes. After you select your desired currencies and input a value, you hit this button to calculate the conversion amount. Save and run the page. Select different currencies using the from and to select lists. Enter some value in the amount text field and hit the calculate button. The specified API will perform real time conversion and will display the exchange rate in the classic reports amount column. The utilized API in this section, which is free of charge, permits currency conversion up to 10 times per month. Once this limit is reached, you will encounter an error message. That's it.
In this lecture, I demonstrated the integration of an external currency converter API showcasing the practical implementation of using external services in Oracle Apex. This exemplifies the versatility and real-world applicability of incorporating external APIs to enrich and extend the capabilities of Apex applications. Leveraging external APIs in Oracle REST data source facilitates seamless data exchange between Oracle Apex applications and external services. This integration empowers developers to fetch, send, or manipulate data, enhancing the functionality and versatility of Apex applications through dynamic interactions with external systems.